So you got a camera or even a smartphone and you need a side hustle or are looking to make full-time income from video in 2023. Videography can be a very lucrative career that realistically you can make 50 to $100 per hour or more. Hi, I'm Josh and I have a video production company that I've been running for the past six years. There are many ways to make money from video and here are my favorite ways to make money this year. I'm splitting this into a couple different sections, money now, money soon, and the long game. Let's start with money now. Many of these will also build relationships that have the potential to lead to repeat business later on. And these are in no particular order. The first one, real estate. Real estate is very competitive and brokers and agents are constantly looking for an edge over each other. As the housing market slows a bit, one way for agents to stand out is to have high quality video of their listings. These are fairly simple videos with tons of examples online to help guide you. If you can offer photos as well, you can really set yourself apart with agents as an all-in-one solution. In today's vertical world, offering vertical edits for stories or reels will also help bring more value to your clients. This is one of the easier jobs to break into. There are tons of real estate agents in every town. Just get on the phone and get your name out there. If you haven't made a real estate video yet, make one of your own home or better yet, find a top real estate agent in your area and offer up a free one to promote yourself. Potential income is gonna be dependent on the home values in your area, but on the low end, a few hundred dollars up to a couple thousand on a higher end seven figure property. Number two, weddings. Weddings get a bad rap amongst videographers and filmmakers, but if you're somewhat new to making money from video, it can be one of the most lucrative gigs you can get. It does come with some drawbacks. Most weddings occur on weekends and could potentially take an entire day to film. Sometimes weddings can be stressful and there is always the chance of a difficult bride or other wedding participant. There's a lot of good as well. Typically you can charge a really good amount for a wedding and you get a lot of variety and a chance to improve your skills. Most weddings that I've worked have been really stress-free and pretty relaxing. I've actually made some really good friends from shooting weddings as well. Weddings are a little harder to break into. You may need to shoot a cheap wedding or even one for free to have something to show potential brides. Once you do, put it out there to your network that you offer wedding videography. I have received over a hundred referrals in the past few years for wedding clients. And ultimately you may decide that weddings are not for you, but they are a great source of income for any videographer. Potential wedding prices will depend a lot on your location, but it's realistic to expect at least $1,500 to even 5,000 or more. Number three, music videos. To be transparent, I've never filmed a music video or pursued music videos, but I've seen a few video friends ha have had success with it. Just like real estate, this will probably be a boots on the ground approach, DMing and reaching out to potential bands and artists. From my understanding, the biggest obstacle you will face is finding artists that are willing to invest in video. Expect a lot of that and weed through it until you find a good fit. This does provide a great opportunity for you to grow with an artist and get exposure to a new audience. Potential earnings could be anywhere from 500 to 5,000 plus on larger productions. Four, small businesses. Most small businesses need to market their services. And right now, video is probably the best way to do that. Now my business currently focuses on helping businesses with video, and we've been doing this since the beginning. The easiest video to start with will be a short promotional video, but many of these have led to much larger projects with our small business clients. My advice is to start talking to all the small business owners you can and find out their struggles. Many are gonna say lack of customers, leads, employees, or some misconception about what they do. Great news, video can solve all of these. To get started, get cold calling businesses you want to work with. Jump on LinkedIn and reach out in a personal way. Spamming will probably be ineffective. Or get to a local networking event through your local chamber or other organization. Potential earning from these is a few hundred dollars to thousands of dollars. One of my very first business clients is still with me today and have cumulatively spent over six figures with our company. And it all started with a $1,500 project in the beginning. Number five, Editing. Eventually editing becomes a burden for almost anyone that is trying to create video content. If you like editing, editing others footage can be a great source of income. We pay several different editors in our business and we're looking to add to our list of potential editors all the time. Another great source for editing gigs can be YouTubers. Many YouTubers edit because they feel like they have to. If you can free up their time to create more content, you create value for them. The best thing about editing is it can be location independent 
and you can do it while still working a nine to five. You can market yourself as an editor on gig sites like Fiverr and Upwork, but I would get started by reaching out to all of the other video production companies and videographers in your area. The rates you can get from those video companies will be greater than individuals on those sites. Potential income for editing kind of starts around $20 an hour, but can definitely go higher with experience. All right, part two. Here are some opportunities that can create income right away, but will probably take a little time to produce consistent income. I call this money soon. So the number six way, freelancing. Just like editing gigs we just talked about, many video companies are looking for help on video shoots. Even organizations with internal video teams look for outside help regularly. Currently our business freelances for two Fortune 100 companies. In addition to building relationships with other video people, you will grow your craft and you will probably lead to more work for yourself down the road. As a freelancer, you could be doing things like simply carrying equipment, to monitoring audio, to setting up lighting, or running a camera. These are great ways to grow your skills while getting paid. When you reach out to production companies or larger companies' video teams, be honest about your skills and what you're looking to accomplish. I keep a folder of freelancers I constantly refer to for help on shoots. Potential income could be as little as $15 an hour to well over $100 an hour when working as a producer or other high value position. Number seven, live events. Companies and organizations spend a lot of money putting on live in-person events. Sometimes these are fundraisers, board meetings, seminars, sales meetings, conferences, etc. There are two different options you can pitch to organizers of these events. You could offer full-length recordings of the presentations or talks that the event hosts, or you could provide a highlight video to celebrate this event or promote the next one. We provide these services for several different events in our area that occur annually or some even semi-annually. There are a few different ways that you can find out about upcoming live events in your area. Check local news sources, newspaper, TV, things like that. Check community calendars, or best yet, talk to venues that regularly host these events. They'll be happy to connect you. Number eight, renting gear. If you've invested in any gear at all, there's always an opportunity to have that gear make money for you when you're not using it. First, make sure you have solid insurance that covers these use case scenarios. There are several websites out there that can help connect you with potential renters. I personally haven't used any of these sites. I have rented gear to people in my own network and it is always nice to get a little extra income when we aren't using it. The most popular items we've rented have actually been lights and microphones. I find a lot of the time, Local people need a few of these extra things, but it's not worth investing a lot of money to own the items. To calculate the potential income that your gear could provide, take a look at rental sites and see what they charge to rent the gear you already own, and you'll have a good baseline of what to charge. Number nine, law firms. A lot of law firms have a need for certain video services. A couple of different things that we have provided in the past have been depositions, day in the life videos, and mock jury videos. Most of the time these videos are recorded to be later reviewed by lawyers. Outside of the day in the life video, most will not even need to be edited. Day in the life videos are typically part of a lawsuit to show how one's life has been negatively affected. Lawyers will then show this to a jury to help them determine how much the harmed person should be awarded. Mock jury sessions bring in random community members that lawyers hope represent what a jury may look like and see how they react to the facts of that certain case. Lawyers will review these to help strategize a jury trial. Reach out to law firms and let them know you offer video services is the best way to put yourself in a position to land gigs like these. Potential income for projects like these should be around $1,000 plus for a typical day. Number 10, dance studios. If you haven't ever had to sit through a children's dance recital, it can be a little boring to say the least, but parents love to have video of their child's performance. Most dance studios will put on one or two recitals per year. Typically you could offer a full length recording of a recital, which in my experience runs from one up to four hours. Typically there are two ways that you can work dance recitals. First, you can charge the studio a set price and they sell the video to the parents or the grandparents, or you can film and then do the selling yourself to make a profit from the final product. We prefer the first, though we do provide DVDs for our dance clients as well. Reach out to these studios and let them know what you offer. Potential income should be at least $1,000 for a recital, but could be up to or more than 5,000 depending on the size of the studio and the location. Live streaming. A lot of organizations are looking to live stream events or meetings. You will need to invest in some digital equipment to provide these services, but offering this will open you up to a big 
bigger pool of potential clients. The biggest struggle in offering this will be finding those clients. A wide variety of organizations and nonprofits put on events that could benefit from live streaming. Best advice is to tell everyone that you know that you offer live streaming and put it out there. Potential income could be $500 for something simple up to tens of thousands of dollars for multi-day events. The last three options that we're gonna talk about are the long game. They're not gonna put money in your pocket today. But starting these today can lead to growing income by the end of the year and for years to come. First, stock footage. Almost every editor needs stock footage pretty regularly. We personally use several stock footage sites depending on our projects. You can upload your footage to these sites and they will pay you when people license your footage. The more good footage you make available, the more potential income you can eventually make. The great thing is the footage can make you money for years to come. Number two, Community-based content. If you're looking to grow a video business locally, creating content about your community is a great way to become known for video in your area. You can create a Facebook show or podcast, highlighting local people or businesses. You could create something with community updates or upcoming events. You can even highlight local news or sports. All of these things people already consume and would be interested in. This will probably start slow, but with consistency, you can easily become known in your community and will naturally attract opportunities for video. Facebook is a great place for these to live because it's easy for others to share. We've produced multiple shows like these and even the ones we don't produce any longer still provide leads to our business. Number three, YouTube. Creating YouTube content and growing an audience will provide many different opportunities to create streams of income. Some of the ways to monetize YouTube include AdSense income, sponsored videos, affiliate income, or you could even create your own course or product. If you already have a camera and are making videos, you have a clear advantage in starting on YouTube. Find a topic you're passionate about or document a portion of your life. Just get started and start making things that bring value to other people. Now, YouTube is hard, especially when you don't see results right away, but the content you create will grow over time. Stick with it and you will reap rewards for years to come. Well, there you have it. 14 different ways to start making income from video this year. Which one was your favorite? What would you add to this list?